Welcome back to Photoshop, and in this case, we're in Adobe Camera Raw. So we're gonna be taking a look at targeted adjustments in both Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to use them, when they're good to use, and how easy it is to use a targeted adjustment. All right, so we are in Adobe Camera Raw, and this is 13.2, the new one, but you should not notice much of a difference. And you'll notice that I have curves open, but let's go ahead and just open this basic panel for right now. So a targeted adjustment is a really easy way to adjust photos. And I picked this image very specifically because in this case, we have a blue sky behind a tree. Obviously in Photoshop, we can use selective color to select the blue out and then adjustment. However, this is a great option for using a targeted adjustment. Now, not every panel over here has targeted adjustments. Actually, the only one that has it is the curve. And I don't think a lot of people use the curve because the other sliders are so much easier. But let's take a look at the curve and then how to use the targeted adjustment and that target adjustment is this little guy right over here. So first of all, we've got the parametric curve, we've got the point curve, which I prefer, and then we've got the point curve in the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. And this works in all of them. So first you need to pick whichever one you wanna use. We'll just start with the parametric curve because truthfully what you choose doesn't really change how the targeted adjustment works. It changed how it affects the image, but not how it works. So we'll go ahead and click the targeted adjustment. And then we're gonna go out here into the image. And all you need to do is go to the area that you wanna adjust. So right now I wanna adjust these blues. So I'm out here in the blue and I'm gonna click. And if I slide to my left, it's gonna make all those blues darker. And if I slide to the right, it's gonna make all those blues brighter. So anything with this value is gonna become darker or brighter and it affects the whole image. In this case, that's actually helpful. Sometimes, if you wanna do the blues here, but not over here, it doesn't work in Adobe Camera Raw. That's when you need to switch over and do a targeted adjustment in Photoshop, because then you're able to add a mask and adjust that just one specific area for a selective adjustment. Now, when I do this, you'll notice as I move, what you're gonna see over here is this is going to change and move along with us. So as I get lighter, that curve changes. As I get darker, that curve changes. Now let's go into a different area. Let's go into the dark part of this tree. I'll click and drag to the left, it gets darker. But now notice we're down there on the bottom of the parametric curve. And as we slide this way, it's making things lighter. So it makes you get into the photo and the ability to kind of click on a specific spot and then adjust it. The good and the bad with it is, is it adjusts everything in the whole image with that color. Sometimes you don't want that. So if you're in a case in Adobe Camera Raw and you get into the parametric curve and you don't wanna affect the whole image, it's probably not the adjustment that you wanna do. If it's something that you wanna affect the whole image with, it's a really easy way to adjust or change values inside of the program. All right, so the next thing that we'll do is we'll just come on over here and it works exactly the same. You click hold. Slide to the right gets brighter, slide to the left, it gets darker. And now if you're adjusting the curve and you need to come in and set other points, you can do that to the curve. You don't have to stay in targeted adjustments. So if you wanna come in here and manually adjust the curve as well, you can do that. The last thing are the red, green, and blue. And so in this case, we'll just go ahead and click on that. If I come up in here into the blue again, let's say I wanted to shift the color of this tree a little bit. So I'll click in this darker area and then I'll slide. If I go this way, it's gonna make that tree or that area more red. And this way it's gonna make it more blue so I can adjust the color of that specific area. And you can do that with the green channel and the blue channel as well. And so you can get into those. I don't think most people are gonna be using the color channels even though I do use it sometimes to do basic color adjustments. It is helpful inside of the parametric and point curves inside of the program. So that's how you use it inside of Adobe Camera Raw. So let's go ahead and hit cancel because we don't want to apply those. 
we're going to switch on over to a different photo. In this one, we got all kinds of different colors, and I think it's going to be helpful. So in this one, not every adjustment up here is going to have the ability to use the targeted adjustment. So let's click on brightness contrast. And when we do that, when we come down here, there's no symbol to do the targeted adjustment. So we'll come back up, we'll do levels. Once again, no targeted adjustment. But when we get to curves, right here, we have targeted adjustment again. So I can click on targeted adjustment. So let's say I wanted to make this pink darker. I can come in here. Now this is a little different because now you're moving up and down. So as we move down, it gets darker. And as we move up, it's gonna get brighter. And there is a little bit of lag time on my computer when it does this. So I'm not so sure how it's going to work on your computer, but just be ready that there is a little bit of lag time on mine. So now I've come in and I've just darkened all that area by using a parametric curve. If I wanted to make sure that this stayed just in this area, it didn't affect anywhere else, I can easily paint in a mask. So in this case, I will invert that and then we'll come in here and we'll grab this brush and I'll make this brush smaller. And we've got a white brush and I'm not gonna go a good job. So we'll just do this real quick. And we will come and paint white. So now this adjustment can only be applied right here because I'm only applying it to that specific location with the mask. Where in camera raw, we don't have the availability to use a mask so we can't limit it to where it goes. Now let's take a look at another one. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to hue saturation because hue saturation also has targeted adjustments. So let's go and click in this blue. What if we don't like this blue? Well, we can come into this blue and we can now change that color with by using a targeted adjustment. So inside of hue saturation right here, we have the target adjustment symbol. We can click on that to activate it. And then I can go into something like the blue and now I can go left and right and change the saturation of this targeted adjustment. So notice that I am affecting the saturation, not the hue, not the lightness. I'm affecting the saturation of the image. So I can desaturate it and I can increase the saturation. Now notice there's a whole bunch of different areas that have blue. So once again, if I only want it to affect one area, I need to make a mask and I'm doing a horrible mask and we're just gonna go in there and paint it in really easily like that. So now right there, if I turn this on and off, I've increased the saturation of that specific adjustment. And if I wanna do another one, basically all I need to do is come in here to a new location. So let's say that I wanted to brighten up the colors or desaturate the colors of yellow inside of this tree. I can come in here and make sure that this is selected. Then I can come in here, click, and then I can, increase the saturation or decrease the saturation in those colors. Now, remember when you're doing something like this, you need to make sure that you get a very specific color or it won't work. So we're clicking on that and then we're sliding back and forth and we're in the yellows. So we're increasing or decreasing the saturation of yellows and it's yellows everywhere. So you're gonna see this be applied to the whole image. And that's basically the process for using targeted adjustments. The last spot that I can think of targeted adjustments is actually in black and white. So if I click the black and white mode, notice that we have targeted adjustments there. So the way this works is remember, it's reading the actual color below it. So I'll click here and I can darken or brighten the areas. And in this case, sometimes you might have multiple colors. So it might have a little red and a little yellow. So it moves both yellow and blue, or it might have some blue and cyan. So you might move both blue and cyan in this case, it's just adjusting the blues. And then I can come over here and I can click on this and notice we're just moving the reds in the image. So if I wanna brighten up the reds, we can do that. Obviously you can come right over here and slide this just like you did before. That's how easy it is to use targeted adjustments inside of Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and as always, don't forget to subscribe.